Back. To Marriage Beyond the Bell. There's a new movie out called A Quiet Place. I don't know. I think it's a horror movie, but yeah. it's basically something about aliens and them having to be very, very quiet. Because if they're not quiet, the aliens can find them. Right. Okay. okay. So in a love relationship, in a marriage, there could be times that, let's just say aliens are trying to find you. Well, when I say aliens, I mean their ch obstacles, their challenges, their things going on in marriage. And you may need to retreat to a quiet place. A quiet place. A quiet place. Okay. To have the conversations about what's going on. Hmm. So I came up with an acronym for place. I guess maybe I should have a quiet place, but I did place. And so for place, you know, what are some of the things that you need to do? What are some of the tools that you could use? And I'm sure you will tell us. Yes. So P, first, be patient. Always. Yes. Patient. Please be patient. It's a virtue is what I understand. <laughs> yes. L, listen. Listen. Mm -hmm. Always. Mm -hmm. I would say always. Always listen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A will be assistance. So possibly seeking out assistance from a therapist or pastor okay. or someone. Wise counsel. Wise counsel. Exactly. Okay. Um, C, communicate. And so in always. communication, yes, always communicate, but be willing to open your mouth and, you know, say what you're feeling. And the last one is something I use a lot in my coaching is explore. Explore. Or mm -hmm. exploration. Explore some different options because sometimes what I would think would be the perfect way to solve an obstacle or something that we're going through may not sit well with Fred. You know, and so I find a lot of value in sitting down and throwing out lots of different possibilities okay. of ways to brainstorming or yes. starbursting. Exactly. Okay. Um, and then L is listening, and I want to go back to that one because it's listening and there's hearing. Right. You know, and the difference between the two, I mean, you can hear a lot of things that you're not really listening mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. like being in a restaurant. You know, you can hear conversations, but you're not listening right. to them, but it's like chatter. Yeah. Exactly. So you hear it, but you're not listening. Mm -hmm. So listening mm -hmm. is very intentional, where hearing is just kind of like you're in the periphery. Mm -hmm. And you say, because um, one of your things is being present in that moment, mm -hmm. when you're listening, you're one hundred percent present in the moment, listening to what the person's saying. I'm not trying in my mind trying to figure out what I'm going to say next, or trying to debunk what the person is saying. Right, and and what I was going to say once you mentioned about being fully present, mm -hmm. um, um, what I think is really, really, really imperative is when you're listening, just like you were alluding to, mm -hmm. not so that you can formulate your argument. Right. Right. But listen for the soul. Listen mm -hmm. for uh, what your loved one is really attempting to convey. Mm -hmm. You know, because sometimes we don't have the words, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but if you are listening for the soul, then uh, what they really intend yeah. won't get lost if they're not able to articulate mm -hmm. it well. If yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it does. Yeah. Yeah. Because one of the things that I find that you're very good at and one of your biggest gifts is that you can feel what people are saying, even if their words aren't coming out exactly the way that they, because you're 100% present. And I'm listening for the soul. Listening and yeah. looking. So listening isn't just mm -hmm. hearing, it's also visual. Well, you know, for me, a um, long time ago, mm -hmm. uh, growing up and dealing with like racial issues and stuff like that, mm -hmm. one of the things I learned early was not to pay attention to what someone did or what they said, mm -hmm. but what was the motivation, mm -hmm. i.e. listening for the soul. Because right. uh, if you take race, I mean, I've had situations where uh, dealing with other races where somebody may have said something that was potentially offensive mm -hmm. or disrespectful, right. but that was not the intent. intent. Right. right. And so instead of like flying off the handle because somebody misspoke mm -hmm. or could not articulate, when you realize what the motivation is, then it just becomes a teaching moment. If there is something that was offensive or right. disrespectful, it becomes a teaching moment. But that way you're not attacking someone. You're just partnering with them. Mm -hmm. 
in a, in a, in an effort to help them through that uh, navigate, if you will, okay. the unknown. Yeah, I like that. But of course you do, because I listen. <laughs> so go find a quiet place. Quiet place. Mm -hmm. So patience, mm -hmm. listening, mm -hmm. assistance mm -hmm. when and if needed, mm -hmm. communication, mm -hmm. and explore. Mm -hmm. Exploration. Yeah, I, I think all of those are, are great tools. So when you're in your quiet place, Use your tools. Use your tools until tomorrow. The Lord says the same. Have a good evening. What'd you say? <laughs>